I am Anil Kumar. In this series, we have taken up trigonometric equations and we will see how to solve them. The question here is, solve square root 2 sine 2x minus 1 equals to 0, where x is between 0 to 2 pi. Now in this particular example, the critical thing which we will understand is the domain itself. So we will like to see how the domain changes when the argument is not just x but a multiple of x right so so let's look into this question once again let me rewrite this question the equation given to us is square root 2 sine 2x minus 1 equals to 0 and we are also given that x is less is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 pi so that is the restriction for x. So the domain for x is 0 to 2 pi. But in our equation, we have 2x. So what is the domain for 2x? So if I multiply all these terms by 2, I get 0. And here I get 4 pi. Do you see that? So, so when you write the solution for this equation, it should be for 2x between 0 to 4 pi. Now, this is very important to understand. Why? Now, keeping this in mind, you can always pause this video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Okay. Now, let's solve this. Solving this will be take 1 to the right side. So, we get square root 2 sine 2x equal to 1 divide by square root 2 so we have sine 2x equals to 1 over square root 2 so we're looking for two things here one sine is positive so we're looking for positive value and we are looking for 1 over square root 2 correct which <coughs> from special triangles you can get so let me sketch a special triangle here 45 degrees or pi by 4 right so so the special triangle which meets this criteria is basically the one in which the angle is pi by 4 is it okay now here the sides are 1 1 these are the legs and the hypotenuse square root 2 so for pi by 4 we know sine theta so let's say is 1 over square root 2. That's what is known to us. Second thing which we need to concentrate is when is sine positive. So for that, let's make this uh, coordinate system. Now, you could use the rule, the cost rule which you have learned or all silver teacup or all students take calculus, whatever you feel like. But from here it is clear that sine is positive in two quadrants. All are positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 2. That means within 0 to 2 pi, we are looking for two solutions. And within 0 to 4 pi, we are looking for four solutions, right? So when we say 0 to 4 pi, since this is 2x, we are looking for this domain. Is that okay? 4 pi means two circles. This is 2 pi and then again 4 pi. So that is 4 pi for us. Okay, two circles. Right. Now we know that the angle that 2x should be 45 degrees for us. For positive, that is to say the position could be either in quadrant 1 or it could be in quadrant 2. So we have in one circle two solutions. One of the solution is this much which is pi by 4. The other one is this much which is pi minus pi by 4 or 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4. Is that okay? Now that is within 2 pi we have to go up to 4 pi, correct? So we can write down the solution. So we know the acute angle alpha is pi by 4. Is it okay? And we also know 
that sign is positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 2. Therefore, this angle 2x is equal to first pi by 4, right? And then this is 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4, right? And then the next round, that is to say, we have to add 2 pi to these, right? 2 pi, one full circle could be written as 2 pi, correct? So 2 pi or 8 pi by 4, is that okay? So, so the other circle is plus 8 pi by 4, right? So that gives you 9 pi by 4 and 11 pi by 4, right? I hope this point is clear to you. How did I get that part? Now, since the domain for 2x will be from 0 to 4 pi, we are considering 0 to 4 pi, correct? So, so up to 0 to 2 pi, we get pi by 4, 3 pi by 4. And then, next circle, so it is like, like, 8 pi by 4, right? 8 pi by 4. So this gives you 9, 10, 11. Do you see that? So this one is pi by 4 and then 3 pi by 4. And then when you come the next round, it is going to be 9 pi by 4 and 11 pi by 4, right? So that is how we get four solutions. So if you do not consider this domain, you will miss out on these two solutions, right? Okay. I hope this point is absolutely clear. Now, what is x equals to? x will be equals to, we'll divide all these by 2, right? 2x is that much. So, it'll be pi by 8 or 3 pi by 8, 9 pi by 8 or 11 pi by 8, right? So, these are all the solutions. So, that is the answer for us. Is it okay? So, that is how you're going to get the solution for this equation square root 2 sine 2x minus 1 equals to 0 within the domain 0 to 2 pi will have four solutions and the solutions are x equals to pi by 8 3 pi by 8 9 pi by 8 and 11 pi by 8 i'm anil kumar and i hope this point is absolutely clear you can always share and subscribe my videos and feel free to post questions thank you and all the best